karamihan sa mga natuwa sa pag resign ni VP Sara ay ang mga makakaliwang grupo. Tuwang-tuwa nga si Franz Castro at ang ilan pa niyang kasamahan. Gayun din si Lenny Robredo dahil sila nga ang mga posibleng kumalit bilang DepEd Secretary. Ngunit hindi nila alam na ang pag resign ni VP Sara sa Marcos Cabinet ay hudyat na na wala na talagang unity at hindi na niya matiis pa ang nangyayari ngayon sa Marcos administration. Ayon pa sa post ni Tio Moreno, Blame the weak president, not the obedient vice president. You should know. We should know because she knows. Before assuming her role as Secretary of the Department of Education, VP Inday Sara Duterte initially aimed for the Department of National Defense. This arrangement was part of their agreement upon winning the election. However, certain individuals spread intrigues about her loyalty and her eyeing for the DND position is intended to fracture the unit team, which is not good for the current administration. As a result, BBM nominated her for the DepEd Secretary position instead. VP Sara obeyed with this mandate just as she did when BBM asked her to become the vice chairperson of the NTFL CAC. No hesitations. She wholeheartedly accepted it. DepEd Upon taking office at DepEd, VP Sara Duterte uncovered extensive corruption and corrupt systems within the department. This prompted her to initiate significant reforms encapsulated in the Matatag Agenda which outlines DepEd's future direction. Her tenure at DepEd has made her a target for attacks. She has always been loyal to the unit team, but she has faced these attacks alone with no support from BBM. This signifies that she was strategically placed there because it could determine her political future. The Confidential Fund in her role, VP Sara was asked by BPM to identify numerous issues within schools. When VP Sara Duterte visited different provinces, she found out that aside from the long-standing problems in classrooms and teaching facilities, the prevailing problems in DepEd schools include child abuse and recruitment, addiction, sexual grooming, and gangsterism. To address these problems, she requested confidential funds to facilitate proper surveillance and investigation. It was the Office of the President that transferred the 125 billion confidential funds to the Office of the Vice President in order to fulfill the said mandate. If this allocation was unconstitutional, why did the Office of the President approve it to begin with? This situation appears to be a form of betrayal. Betrayal. VP Sara was given significant responsibilities, but when challenges arose, no one stood by her. Now, she faces numerous cases concerning the confidential fund. It is clear that there is a concerted effort to distract VP Sara from her duties in DepEd, and the FLCAC, and the OVP. Congress has also cut her budget making it challenging for her to continue the programs she has initiated. If she fails to continue these programs and establish a lasting legacy, it will be challenging for her to win the presidency if she decides to run. Demolition Job There is a coordinated demolition campaign against the VP Sara, including troll accounts and negative commentary from bloggers or vloggers. The goal? To prevent another Duterte to hold a national office. VP Sara, Congressman Pulong, Mayor Baste, and their supporters like Pastor Kibuloy are being pressured or ginigipit to meet their objectives, especially with the upcoming midterm elections. Meanwhile, the Kakampinks and their leaders remain silent, seemingly aligning with the Marcoses to regain lost power and influence. That's also their goal. The Marcos apologists are actively attacking the Duterte's as directed by their leaders. Notice that the Marcos admin and Kampinks, although they don't share the same values, they share the same political agenda and that is to erase the Duterte's in the current political landscape. 
resignation. This is the mark of being maisug. VP Sara's resignation from DepEd and NTFLCAC is a strategic move. Although it is unfortunate for DepEd teachers and Filipino students, her resignation is understandable given that these positions have been used to target her due to the inherent challenges in DepEd. It's incredibly hard to continue supporting an administration's goals when the administration itself, the one undermining your efforts. It's a toxic relationship, and just like a toxic relationship, it's better to live. The good thing is, VP Sara Duterte would be able to focus more on her job as a vice president. Lahat para sa Diyos, bayan, at bawat pamilyang Pilipino. Shukran. We just saw VP Inday Sara Duterte doing something Bombong Marcos must have been dreading she would do for the past two years, for herself. You see, the vice president's positions as secretary of DepEd or co-vice chair of NTF Alcock were a Marcos Shandlish that perniciously restrained her and choked her voice the past two years. The positions prevented Sara from doubting, questioning, or opposing Marcos' policies and decisions that, instead of serving the interests of the people, were designed to perpetuate them to power or protect their political or personal interests. The resignation was an act of deliverance from the control, but also a warning and Marcos should be concerned. It looks like Sara, the president's former ally, is now an opposition. This freedom is a victory for those who only supported Marcos because of Sara. But this is also Sara protecting her honor, a leader who is never known to capitulate when she is right. And because there is absolutely no honor serving in the Marcos administration. Shukran, Vice President, mabuhay ka. Hey mga lords, oh my god. Breaking news. VP Inday Sara resigned as Department of Education Secretary. This is it. For me mga lords, this is the right and wise decision na ginawa ni VP Inday Sara. VP Inday, huwag ka nang makisali sa cabinet post ng Marcos administration. Actually, I'm happy. It's a good move. Yung ibang mga loyalist na tuwang-tuwa. Tuwang-tuwa kayo. E pwede yan maging dahilan ng kasiraan ng mga Marcos for your information. VP Inday Sara is not an ordinary cabinet member. She is the vice president at siya ang may pinakamaraming supporters and voters. Kaya I'm really happy. Sana huwag nang dumikit si VP Inday Sara no? sa administrasyon na to. Okay na yung vice president siya, gawin na lang niya no? ang vice president niya sa Pilipinas. Pero wag na wag na siyang suma sa cabinet member no? ng Marcos administration. VP Inday Sara, we are here. Solid pa rin yung suporta namin. Hihintayin ka namin hanggang sa ikaw na ang magiging next na president ng Pilipinas. And finally, sa wakas, malaya na ang agila. Ano ang inyong opinion? Huwag nang kalimutang i-share ang video na ito. Mag-iwan ng comment at like.